and a very warm welcome to you as you join me for the first Pramix Discovery video of 2022. And at the beginning of this year, we're continuing our series of video tutorials looking at the features which we introduced into Pramix Discovery 25, which was launched just at the end of last year. So let's look at another new feature today. So the feature we're going to look at today is a relatively small improvement in Pramix Discovery 25, but I'm going to take the opportunity in this video tutorial uh, to look at the wider context of how this feature is used to do with roundabout lanes editing. And so I've got a model in front of me here with a roundabout on the overlay, as you can see. And I'm going to go through constructing this roundabout and then using the new roundabout lanes editor. So to get started, I'm going to my node editor, adding a node into the center of the roundabout, and then adding some links uh, joining into that node. Now, when I add the links, I'm going to choose the number of lanes I want for the links. This is going to save me time by making an appropriate choice. So I've chosen two lanes in both directions. Now, not all the links on approach to this roundabout and exit from this roundabout have two lanes, but most of them do. So if I use the two lane option, that will be the most efficient. And then I can go back afterwards and change some of those. So I've added in four links, all approaching the node at the center of this roundabout. And now I'm going to go back through the links and adjust the number of lanes. So reducing that exit link to the north to one, increasing that one to three. Um, let me just check uh, the overlay for this one. I can do that by switching the links off, which is Shift L or capital L. So that's also three lanes on the approach from the east uh, as well here. And uh, from the uh, south, it's two. Okay, so uh, I want to place that node right at the center before I create the roundabout. So again, I can switch those links off with Shift L uh, to help me see the overlay more clearly. And I've got that node nicely in the center. Now I want to create my roundabout and I'm checking that I've got three lanes at the top to, because I've got three lanes on the circulating carriageway here. Very simple to create the roundabout. It's just a right click on the node and create roundabout. Let me undo that and just show you again. So right click on the node, create roundabout, and I just move the diameter into the central island of that uh, roundabout and it's done for me. So I've got the basic structure of the roundabout now very quickly and very easily. You can see three lanes on the circling carriageway and the right number of lanes on the approach. Now it doesn't really match with the overlay yet, and the way to do that is to adjust the curbs and the lane points. So I'm adjusting my curb positions, uh, as you can see, by grabbing them with a left click and moving them. Now, a nice new feature in Paramix Discovery 25 is that when you grab an object, whether it's a node, a curb, a lane point, or anything else, you uh, just have to click on it once and drag. Now, previously you had to click to select it and then let go and then click again and drag. So it was kind of like two clicks. Now you just do that in one. So all I have to do is click the curb and move it in one movement. So it, it is easier, it saves a little bit of time. It's nicer to use. So that's just a, another little bonus feature in Paramix Discovery 25 that you'll enjoy trying out. Okay, so I'm moving all these curbs into positions. I'm, I'm doing it quite quickly, so I'm not matching the overlay quite exactly, but I'm getting a better overall curb position, and that's moving my uh, lane points into better positions as well. I also want to adjust my lane points independently, so I'll turn those on on the toolbar and move those into better positions so that the trajectories of the vehicles really match what would happen uh, on the ground. Now, I'm not going to do this for the whole roundabout because it will take too long. I'll just do a few examples here and then uh, come back to the completed roundabout. Okay, so I've got my roundabout now with curves and lane points in position. I want to identify this new toolbar button, which is Edit Roundabout Lanes. And you see when I toggle that on, we've got um, these icons appearing on the exit links of the roundabout. So I'm going to select one of those. When I select one of those, it highlights all of the lanes that are used to get to that exit. Uh, and there's four approaches on the roundabout. So you can see those four approaches being highlighted and the lanes used around the roundabout to get to that exit. So then I want to interrogate this and ask myself, is this lane arrangement appropriate and what edits do I want to make? So I work through it sequentially. So I start with this left turn going to my exit to the west. 
and I can see on the overlay that the left turn is just from lane one, so I want to turn off that central lane. I'll then move to the straight ahead movement, which is going from east to west. Have a look at the overlay. It's two lanes going through, but it's lanes one and two as opposed to lanes two and three, which were currently highlighted. So I'm switching that around. You can see I'm just toggling the lanes off. It's just a left click to turn them on and off. And it's updating those movements, which are the yellow arrows, roundabout movements, which you can see from your styles panel as I go. So I'm able to check that I'm doing the right thing as I go. I'm going to check the movement coming from the north and turning right and uh, exiting at the west. And then I'm also checking that U-turn as well, that the correct lanes are being used. And once I'm happy with that, I move on to the next one. Again, just work through it sequentially. So start with the left turn going south. Again, the overlay is saying it's just the left lane or lane one, which is turning left, whereas currently I've got two lanes toggled on, so I'm going to turn one of those off. Look at the movement from the north. There's one lane going through, uh, and I'm currently highlighting two. So I'm going to turn one of those lanes off going through and just have uh, lane one on approach and then lane two on the central carriageway. And again, I would look at the other two movements to get to that exit from the south. So it's a very, it's very simple uh, feature to use the roundabout lanes editor. The tricky bit is really getting that concept that the lanes that we're turning on and off are the lanes that can be used to get to that exit. Okay, so I'll work through the other two examples to do these quite quickly. So moving from west now to east, I've got two lanes going straight through. So I want to make sure I've got two lanes uh, going through on that whole movement and checking the right turn and the U-turn again. And then for the final exit, uh, I'm looking at the movement which is turning left, uh, coming from the west. That's only uh, one lane, uh, lane one. Looking from the movement south, that's also just coming from one lane, lane one. And then the right turn and the U-turn are fairly straightforward. They match uh, the other exits as well. Okay, so when all of that roundabout lane editing is done, I can turn it off, again using the toolbar button to turn that off, and then I can go round and check, and two things I want to check, one is that the movement arrows uh, on each of the approach match the overlay, and I can see that all of them do by working through those sequentially, and the other key check is looking at the circulating carriageway of the roundabout and checking there aren't any conflicts, which basically means arrows which are crossing one another, or paths which are crossing one another on the central carriageway. Uh, the trajectories can also be really useful for checking that. So thank you for watching this video tutorial today. As I say, it's quite a small improvement to Pramix Discovery 25 with the introduction of the toolbar button for Roundabout Lanes Editor, but hopefully that was a useful refresher for you of how Roundabout Lanes editing works uh, and how quick and easy it can be to create a roundabout within Pramix Discovery. Thanks for joining us today and see you soon.